and he's saying here that, uh, you know, and not that our works uh, earn us salvation, but he's saying here basically that, you know, if we say that we're Christians and you can't see that, you can't see God moving through you, you can't see the Holy Spirit working through everything you do, then, you know, he, he doesn't mince words here. He says, you know, you're a liar. That, that, that doesn't work. You can't accept Christ and then not follow him. You can't be a Christian and not have the love of God in you. It says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. And so, again, it's not that we're going to be perfect. It's not that we're never going to mess up. It's not that we're uh, not going to have sin. But, uh, you know, we need to realize that, hey, we need God. We need to... Uh, confess our our sins to him. We need to know that we are uh, just a fallen person that needs a savior. And when we do that, and when we accept him, we can then begin to walk in his light. And I'm going to get into just a a little bit uh, here of the second chapter, uh, and and then we're going to move on to some other things. And like I said, we'll focus more on this over the next coming week. But in the second chapter, he then speaks to us and says, My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Now by this, we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He who says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. And so I just want to encourage you uh, with that today that uh, when we accept Christ, and when Christ lives in us, we can walk through him. Yes, we may have sinned and and fallen short, but we can accept that. We can accept that he then gave his life for those sins, and we can walk in his light and his love for others. And so I encourage you. If you like what you saw, make sure to like this video and comment below. Hit that subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.